one of the things that I, I think about a lot is, um, you know, when we think about, for fast fashion, for example, um, you know, the clothes are cheap uh, because no one actually pays for the cost of producing them. Um, and, um, you know, it's cheaper to produce something in China and ship it here because no one pays for things like ocean acidification or sulfur dioxide pollution or, you know, black carbon and the effect that has on the polar ice caps. Um, you know, in addition to the um, healthcare costs for the workers who produce the clothing um, and what happens when they get into landfills in this country and produce methane emissions or, uh, you know, uh, pl leach plastic um, plasticizers into, into the environment. And so one thing that I, I think about there is that, um, you know, there, there has to be a better system in terms of managing externalities for how we price those things or how companies are held accountable to um, including those effects in their models of profit, I guess. Um, because somebody actually does pay for the cost, like we pay for the cost in terms of the ecosystem health or the health to the oceans or the healthcare costs to people. Um, and, and we also pay for the goods and allow the, the companies to profit. And so that's kind of a, in a really important way that I, that I think about equity and then, you know, the kind of next question from that is, well, what about people who need those clothes or, you know, can't afford better made clothes? Um, and I think that, um, you know, that's a really important question and one that kind of gets to the heart of this, this equity question. But I also think if you have regulations in place that manage those externalities, um, if you have, then all of the products will be more sustainable. Um, and so it'll kind of eliminate the responsibility on the consumer to make the sustainable choice.